Grace and peace to you, friends, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I greet you on Ash Wednesday, the beginning of Lent. I want us simply to read a passage of scripture uh, and to offer a prayer. The scripture is a traditional reading for Ash Wednesday from 2 Corinthians verse 5. Hear these words. We come therefore as Christ ambassadors. It is as if God were appealing to you through us. In Christ's name, we implore you, be reconciled to God. Christ was innocent of sin, and yet for our sake, God made him one with the sinfulness of humanity, so that in Christ, we might be made one with the goodness of God himself. Sharing in God's work, we urge this appeal upon you. You have received the grace of God. Do not let it be in vain. Hear God's own words. In the hour of my favor, I have listened to you. On the day of deliverance, I have helped you. The hour of salvation has now come. The day of deliverance has dawned. On Ash Wednesday, we renew our purpose to follow Jesus who sets his face toward Jerusalem and a cross. And so many of you in local churches will mark your foreheads with ashes, the sign of the cross. And you'll remember the purpose of this Lenten discipline. The early Christians observed this day with great devotion and it became the custom of the church that before celebrating Easter, there would be a 40 day period of spiritual preparation. During this season, converts would present themselves for holy baptism and it was a time when people who had committed serious sins and had separated themselves from the community of faith could be reconciled through penitence and forgiveness and restored into the full life of the church. This was a way of reminding us all of the mercy and forgiveness proclaimed by Jesus Christ through the gospel. And so I invite you, in the name of the church, to observe a holy Lent by self-examination and repentance, by prayer, fasting, and self-denial, and by reading and reflecting on God's holy word. Let us give thanks to God. Almighty God, you have created us out of the dust of the earth Grant that the ashes we receive today will be a sign of our mortality and penitence so that we will remember that only by your gracious gift are we given everlasting life through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. May God bless you on this Ash Wednesday.